question that I think is the most fundamental question ever. Well, it is passionate. I'm passionate about it, which is, as a nurse, I had to study biology to qualify. So why now can't our politicians and even our institutions like the NHS say what a woman is? Is extreme trans ideology a threat to womanhood? So the answer is yes, it is. I think that's really clear. You know, we've had situations of men taking advantage of this in women's prisons, in sports, where you know, they are claiming to be able to, to race in women's races. And it is a huge issue for women. And I, you know, we've spent years fighting for equality with men to be treated equally. And now we have this issue of people with male genitalia claiming to be women. I think it's completely wrong, but also it's ludicrous, isn't it? And you are a student of biology, and I think most people actually understand the basic biology, yeah. but we have this doublespeak yeah. of politicians refusing to say women, women don't have well, penises. Indeed. And what so is that about? does a woman have a penis, Liz Truss? No, a woman does have a penis, obviously, Dan. Good, good. <laughs> I think Dad needs some Just to get lessons. it on the record, he Liz. Just to get lessons. it on the record. But, the, the, but what I really worry about yeah. is people who know perfectly well that a man has a yeah. penis and a woman doesn't are prepared to spout this stuff, yeah. even though they know no, the I'm opposite is true. I'm with you. It's and, ludicrous. And it's the, it's, the, it's the undermining of objective truth and science. Mm -hmm. And I think we should really worry about that. Not to mention hard-fought for women's rights.